Don't forget, the Sonic was still open at 9.30 last night. There were customers waiting in the drive through others eating their food. 6 News' Liliana Pearson spoke with one woman about the terror unfolding right in front of her. The woman I talked to doesn't want to be identified, so you're not going to be seeing her, but you will be hearing her story tonight. She says it was a last minute decision that put her, her fiance, and three young children, all under the age of 10, at this Sonic drive through window. And then you just hear the pop, pop, pop. At that moment is when I seen a, one of the employees fall backwards on his back. I was just kind of froze. That's when the employee, the other one that gave us our food, he turned around and I don't even think he got all the way turned around and then I seen him drop. You know, he didn't even see anything coming. I, nobody did. It just, you know, he did. He just no, no sooner turned his back and he got shot. My fiance was just yelling, he's shooting, he's got a gun, he's got a gun. And at this, I saw the gun in that instant, but I was just frozen with fear. It was just nothing that I've ever experienced before, so I didn't know what to do in that situation. And we both ducked down, and I told my kids to get down in the back. I put the car into drive, and I just hurried up and sped off. I got out of the parking lot, I went around the Starbucks, and I came up to that main light. And I just kept looking out the window over the side and, oh my God, did this really just happen? I hope everything's okay. I hope everybody's okay. Like, you know, I was just trying to talk myself down like it, it wasn't real. And I was just so scared. And then you, you could still hear the popping at the light. The light was red. And so I ran the light. I just keep playing it over and over. And it's just one of those things you just can't shut off. She and her family made it home safe last night. She says she knows she's very lucky when there are two people dead and two more in the hospital. She says she can't imagine the pain and suffering that families are feeling tonight. On your side, Liliana Pearson, 6 News. Liliana, thank you.